Current unbalance can be caused by bad wiring or insulation problems within the motor. What we're going to do now is test our motor. Before we do that though, we want to get into our Flute Connect app so we can save the measurements that we're doing for later purposes. You'll want to download the Flute Connect app either through the Google Store or through your App Store. As you can see, I've already downloaded the app and I'm going to go ahead and get into the Flute Connect app. At this point here, we want to go ahead and turn the meter on all the way over to the far right in the orange for our insulation test. In the corner here, we'll hit the Flute Connect button. We're going to go over to our phone and hit the Capture Measurements. As you can see, the 1587 FC is now connected to it. We'll connect to that meter. Typically in an insulation test, we want to double the value of whatever the rating is for voltage. In this case, this motor is a 480 volt motor. We're going to change the range of our insulation meter to 1000 volts. By doing that, you'll hit the range button. Now that we're at the 1000 volt test, we're going to check the windings of our motor to ground. We're going to change to the next leg by going to the black leg as you can see here. And again, by hitting the test button, we can perform the test. We'll run this for 10 seconds. We're basically charging up the line to confirm nothing uh, is breaking down. Now that we've run that test, let's go ahead and again and save it. We'll make our note. This time it was the black leg. We'll hit our done button and we'll go ahead and hit our done button up at the top. Our final test on this motor will be the white leg. Now that we've connected the white leg, let's go ahead and do the final test. And we're going to go ahead and save the last test and identify it in our notes as this was the white leg. By hitting done, we're done. Now you can see that we've made all three measurements on the legs. We've validated that all measurements were greater than 2.2 gig ohms at 1000 volts DC. This is a good valid test for this motor. We would, if we would seen a problem, we would have definitely seen a lower breakdown in our ohms.